for many users, yes, was the difference between Linux is impossible and I can actually use this distro. From 2003 to 2005, this is called the Novell era and Yast 2 was born. You could say that Novell leveled up Yast to make it a powerhouse that it is today. Novell funded major development leading to Yast 2, a complete rewrite of Yast. This included modular architecture, cleaner UI, better hardware detection, improved installer workflows, which those installer workflows are still going to today. The Agama project is still trying to replace that. And Yast, being 20 years old, is still light years ahead of Agama. Yast 2 also introduced something massive, both GUI and in-curses or text interface for the CLI interface. Same tool, same features, everywhere. That meant you could manage a desktop, a server, a headless machine over SSH on the other side of the world using the exact same YAST modules. So clean interface, no matter what you did, GUI or CLI, it was exactly the same flow. That consistency is still rare today on any Linux distro. Novell did something huge. YAST was fully open source. This coincided with the launch of the OpenSUSE project, turning YAST into a community-driven tool rather than a pr proprietary one just for SUSE Linux. This move ensured long-term survival, community contributions, enterprise-grade quality without lock-in. From this point forward, YAST became the identity of OpenSUSE, and it really gave new Linux users the ability to learn Linux on their terms. Not being forced, CLI only, you can do this through a GUI desktop, KDE or no. 